Well, well, well. So, we're back again, of course. As you can see, I've got a little bit of a mine going on up here. Or I guess down here. And it pretty much just goes all the way down to diamond level or bedrock, whatever you want to call it. I've done some poke holes. Not really found much, because I haven't really mined all that much. I do hear a cave, and there is lava completely surrounding me uh, in this area. But there is a cave over here that I would very much like to explore, because it is very close to diamond level. I looked a little bit, as you can see, but I haven't really fully got out because I was like, oh, this trail's off. Okay, this could be something. And then it's not going to end up being anything, and then we're just going to have to go find something else to do, I guess. Okay, well, strike number one. Let's go. There's two other entrances, so we have two more strikes to go. And, of course, they connect to each other. Of course, of course. And uh, we're out, I think. Wait, no, it goes up there, but I don't really want to go up. But, yeah, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today, as per usual. I've just been vibing it out, uh, just keep it up with, you know, work and whatnot, Minecraft, you know how it is. This is, like, the one time that I've actually gotten a chance to, like, fully play. I've been playing, like, a little bit, uh, here and there, whenever I had the time, but this is the f actual chance I've had to record something. And what did I say, by the way? We totally just ended up not getting a cave at all there, even though there was, like, four other entrances that could have led somewhere, but sadly it didn't. However, I do remember that there was another side to this, so we'll see if this goes anywhere. I remember checking it out a tiny bit, but yeah, it doesn't go anywhere. That's unfortunate. Anyways, I did mention that this indeed does go somewhere. As you can see, it do there is lava above us, unfortunately. Um, but that also means that we can actually go through with this and see if it leads to a cave of some sort. Because I'll be real with you, I really need some diamonds right now, and uh, it's kind of annoying mining with this iron pickaxe. It's just obnoxious. It sucks. But I'll I'll I'll, I'll catch you guys back when I uh, when I'm when I'm when I find something. And it would seem that, of course, we have the worst possible scenario here. It, uh, leads to a really weird ravine, and I honestly do not know what is up there, so I am not gonna bother with that. We're gonna find our way back home, and I'm gonna- I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing with the place. It is genuinely amazing having one of these staircases built in your strip mine, because you could just spam space and just go so quickly. It's amazing. It also completely eats your health bar, though. Anyways, as you can see, I pretty much did nothing. Yep. There's not really been anything, not not much, but I do have this little chest here, and you're probably wondering to yourself, what is this? What what do we have here? What what's in this little what's in this little doohickey thing? I have been fishing a little bit, uh, just on and off really throughout my days. Whenever I have the chance, I just kind of I just kind of squat up, listen to music for like 20, 30 minutes, and just fish. Just enjoy the enjoy the vibes really. Uh, it has not yielded much profit, but there is one thing, or no, actually there's a few things that are pretty decent. So first off. This is not very decent, but there is a thing to do with this. So, obviously Curse of Vanishing is not a good enchantment. Lure 2 is. And Curse of Vanishing, if you don't know what that enchantment does, basically when you die in this game, the item disappears with you. We are on hardcore mode, so that does not affect us in any way. Therefore, we can combine it with this Unbreaking 3 Mending fishing rod and basically get almost a decent fishing rod i mean we still kind of need luck of the sea it's not completely maxed out but it's it's better than what we had which is just this we also managed to get a flame and infinity bow which is also pretty decent it is completely demolished so i'm probably gonna have to repair that i have the string so i'll, I'll probably do that on screen in just a second here and we did indeed get two enchanted books the first one being knockback two not very good I've, uh, I've said my gripes about the Knockback 2 enchantment. I, uh, personally, actually, I do have an idea when it comes to that enchantment in terms of making this game harder and making that enchantment more sought after. I think that they should completely remove Knockback or at least nullify it almost to completely not exist unless you have the Knockback enchantment. So when you hit a monster, it just kind of doesn't move much. It would make more sense, in my opinion. It would make the game a bit more harder, and it's a very simple thing to change, in my opinion. At least, I, I think it's very simple to change. I don't know. The other book is a Fortune 2 book. So, I'm kind of torn here. I want it, obviously, for diamonds when we eventually find them. But, I also do want to put it on a diamond pickaxe. And I'm sure that this is something that you guys probably have never seen before. But we can't have both, obviously, and I want that when we do eventually find diamonds, because otherwise I am screwed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on a iron pickaxe. It has been a while since I even, like, made enchanted iron tools, and honestly, I don't think... I think they deserve... I think they deserve more praise. Because early game, especially nowadays with the deep slate and whatnot, it is a pain in the ass to mine stuff easily. 
Uh, we also got some gold here and there. You know how it is. Everything else I've pretty much been uh, smelting on my own. I do have the diamond from uh, the, I think that was the treasure chest. Um, that is just chilling. But we still need to get, like, what, four more? Yeah, four more to warrant that so we can make an enchant table and go to the nether as well, etc., etc. What I also would like to do is, how expensive is this going to be? Ooh. This is where I'm a bit confused. Because I know when you uh, repair your tool over and over again with mending, it gets more expensive to repair. Would it be cheaper if I made this fully... If I made the durability all the way up, would this be cheaper? I don't know. So I guess feel free to mention that in the comments below if you do know. I'll just leave it at the, at the time being because I'm not really in a rush. It is only just lure two, so it's not too big a deal. I do want to get this bow because... Bows are very overpowered in this game, and obviously we are on hardcore, and I do not want to lose this world. So having any kind of help would be fantastic, in my opinion. What can I name you? I'm going to name it Hooker. I think that's funny, because I, uh, I ended up, you know, getting it from fishing, so that'll work. And we also do need an arrow, actually. Do I have an arrow, or... Oh, wow, I actually just... Wait, what? I could have sworn I had an arrow. Amazingly enough, I actually do have the things for the first time ever to craft arrows. And I don't remember the last time I crafted arrows. Probably was like when I last played a UHC or something, which was years ago. I can't, probably a decade ago at this point. We only do need the one arrow, so I'll just toss the rest in here. And we're going to name this so it doesn't stack with other ones. I'm going to name it Ebo just because, uh, you know, why not? Anyways, in terms of things that I need to get done... That is really the question right now. I don't really know where I can go from here. Like, obviously, there's a bunch of different things we can do. But at the moment, I'm just like, hmm, I should go caving, but I can't find a cave. How do I do that? I simply just go look for one. I don't like uh, looking around for caves just because they're a pain in the ass, especially nowadays. But, you know, it is what it is, really. Well, hello. What is this? This is pretty much right next to where we live. Um... I don't think it goes anywhere. At least not yet. There is an Enderman. I might kill this guy just because we do obviously need the Ender Pearls and we're not on an SMP. So I can't just sit here and laze about. I got to do everything on my own. Sadly, we didn't get a Pearl. Uh, I don't know if you saw it, but I think somewhere in my chests upstairs, I actually did have an Ender Pearl. That's because I, I, I found one when I was looking around for another cave like a bit ago. Figured I'd kill him. I was like, well, what are the chances that I die here? It, surely it's not that high. And then, you know, I didn't get hit once. So we're, we're okay. We're okay. I absolutely refuse to use my Fortune 2 pickaxe on anything other than diamonds. Maybe emeralds. But the thing has like so little durability, I don't want to bother with it. We got to be as efficient as possible. Okay, maybe I'll use it on that iron just because I actually do need iron right now. As we escaped that uh kind of not really anything cave, we actually just found another one potentially. So this is kind of funny because I was just going to start getting into a conversation. Oh, is this our first creeper? I'm not going to take any chances, obviously. I guess I would like to talk about some things. Of course, you know, as, as per usual, I do talk on occasion. It is something I indeed do. So I have been asked another question and uh, it is actually a pretty good question because I completely just kind of not really forgot about it. I just kind of didn't really think about it when I was doing this series and whatnot. So people are wondering, a fella, a fella just commented on my, uh, commented on my little video. They're like, hey, are you going to do the, uh, the Pokemon challenge at any point? And I actually might like to at some point. I don't know when, I don't know, uh, whatever else. I, I couldn't think of another word. I, don't, I was like sitting there like, well, where doesn't really make any sense for this. Like, it's just a matter of when really. Um, <laughs> yeah, I... I, I might actually want to get into it, because if you don't know, I do still collect cards like that and stuff. I still open the new sets, um, all that good stuff. I just don't really have the time to record as of now, because I'm so busy. It's definitely something I would like to do again. I've just got to find the time for it, really. And, oh, yes, this is possible. This is almost the best thing that could have happened. Not to be uh, Not to be looking a gift horse in the mouth, but... This is good. This is good. If it were a skeleton spawner, it would be perfect. But beggars can't be choosers. Anyways. Okay, yeah, just kind of basic stuff. I'll just break these and take them with me. But yeah, back on to the topic at hand. Uh, yes, I am not going into this ravine. Nope, sorry, I keep getting distracted. Yes, I do plan on eventually uploading again. I don't know how consistent it'll be. I've got a little bit of a collection and stuff that I can go over as well during a video, which could be fun. I've, I've got so many goddamn plushies too. I'm very excited for the new games, which is weird because for Scarlet and Violet, the Pokemon games, before the trailer, the recent trailer that just came out, 
I was not too big of a fan of the games at all. I was just sitting there, like, not hyped at all. I was just like, well, something feels off about them. I don't know what it is. Just something about it. It's not got me really in particular really excited. I couldn't really put my finger on it, and I still really can't. But it's interesting. Just seeing them, like, just three minutes of, like, footage and whatnot. Uh, again, I don't want to go in this ravine. Um, just seeing the footage of, like, the characters interacting and new characters, uh, more Pokemon and stuff. All that good, all that good, those good things. I I found myself to just be more excited about the games, and I I can't put my finger on why. I don't know what changed with this trailer, cause it's just strange to me. But yes, I am very excited for those games, and I do plan on eventually returning on the Pokemon channel. Maybe I will return with uh, maybe I'll return with the uh, Scarlet and Violet sets as soon as those drop. Who knows? I don't want to put on a date on myself because then that's when things start getting a bit tricky because. You know, obvious reasons. It is just not a good idea. You guys know how bad I am with scheduling and whatnot. I'm gonna put some torches around this just because I want to. I want that to be like a reminder of uh, what's around and stuff, and like you know that that zombie spawner. And oops, speaking of which, what? What? God damn. God damn. Okay, so it would seem the general vicinity is just a kind of jungle bound. This is actually a really nice area too. These mountains are insane. Now, this is Nutter Butters. Oh, dad and dad are back. What's funny is that I'm not even on an amplified world, yet this looks like amplified terrain. There's pumpkins over there. I'm actually going to grab those. All memes aside, I have a very big appreciation for early game glowstone. And you're probably wondering, what does that mean? You put a torch in one of these, you can, you can make a piece of glowstone, essentially. I don't know if it's the exact same light level, but it's pretty damn close. And I don't like the way glowstone looks anyways. Personally, I'm just a big fan of that old, early jack-o'-lantern lighting. It just gives me some feelings that I absolutely adore. I'm gonna go ahead and head back home. Unfortunately, we couldn't find a cave. But the next time you see me, I will have hopefully made some progress in terms of mining. Does that sound good? I think that sounds good. So yeah, I'll see you guys in just a second, as soon as I can find my way home. Ooh. I'm gonna keep recording just so, just in case I die somehow. I doubt I will though. Just cause I'm that freaking cool. I am very much just in a predicament. Okay, there's a lot going on. Oh, there's the ruined portal, by the way. Um, oh, and there's my house. But yeah, again, I will, I will see you guys in just a moment. Oh god, this is risky. Oh, I am rusty! I go EP. So I was doing a little bit of fishing, and it was raining, of course, and something spawned over here. And typically when these things spawn, you can, you can barely see it, it's a skeleton horse. When these things spawn and you get near them, occasionally lightning will strike and spawn the four horsemen thing. Yeah, there you go, just there. And uh, I wanted to be on film here because, you know, obvious reasons. I don't, I've never seen these guys get spawned, like, in the water, for God's sake. At this rate, they're probably going to drown, which is kind of a shame because I kind of wanted to have those neat little horses, but I can't do anything. I actually can because I caught a saddle earlier. Are these guys not drowning? Do skeletons not drown? This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. They actually just don't drown. I can't, I can't do anything. I mean, they can't really hit me either, so I guess I'll just leave them down there. They'll eventually either, I don't know if they despawn actually. But yeah, uh, sorry about that. I just wanted to cut in and just show you that just because it was it was pretty interesting. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go mining now and get, and get back to you. Okay, so I did some mining and I do have some uh, interesting things. Some mining off screen, you might even say. Uh, I, f I I found some diamonds. It didn't take too long. Uh, we do have that fortune two pick, like I mentioned uh, earlier. So we're gonna go ahead and hope for the best here. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna have enough here. Dang, we're actually getting good luck. Wow, that was I think the best rates for. Wow, did I just get four from that? Okay. All right. I see you. Okay. I'll tell you guys what. I'm going to go find this lava that I think is above us. I'm going to mine some obsidian and I'll meet you guys back up where we can make an enchant table and some other things. Um, so I went to go find the uh, lava, obviously, and it would seem we have a neat little cave around here. I actually installed Optifine as well. You could probably tell by that. I got sick of not being able to zoom in and it just got annoying. So I figured why not? Yeah, this is... This is definitely interesting. Of course he hits that. Of course he does. I'm not going to explore this just yet. I also don't really like all the open areas that you can just have a creeper fall on your head. But I'm just going to I'm gonna grab that obsidian and I'll be right back. So we got back up. I got myself 14 obsidian, 10 for the portal, for, for the uh, enchant table, of course. I uh, don't exactly have enough levels to enchant as of yet. I don't even know if I have enough sugar cane or leather. I know we have enough leather because we, we farmed that a decent bit. 
Yeah, there's 39. Actually, we don't have enough leather. That is interesting. Luckily, there is some cows past that area. I think I saw those with you guys on screen. I could be wrong. So we don't have enough to make like the full enchant table, but we can go ahead and make the 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 one itself and get some level one enchants at least. I did also do some fishing. I mentioned it in that earlier clip. Uh, this saddle I got, obviously, from fishing. Those guys are still down there, it would seem. We're going to attempt to get a horse at some point. That's why I was kind of hoping one of those guys would be like, up here because they're they're decent i think if i recall correctly i don't know actually know if they're like good or anything but it would be easier grabbing that one than going out and looking for a regular horse is what i'm saying sorry my my thought process is all over the place i've been very busy today and i i just got like time to sit down and actually play the video game so uh, i apologize for that i do want to do some level one enchantments really quickly just for armor for the time being uh i don't you know what, we're gonna go with- oh, that was, that's perfect, actually. If you don't know, Aqua Affinity basically makes you mine faster underwater. It's as if you weren't even underwater at all. It does not, however, give you any breathing mechanics. You can't breathe longer or anything like that, so just be wary. I also, you know, went ahead and got rid of some more trees around here. As far as I know, I think that's pretty much it that I've changed. It's been a relatively slow process, but, you know, I'm trying my hardest. I'm doing what I can here. I do potentially want to get started on some sort of a base. Maybe we'll make, like, a regular house. I'm not quite sure as of yet, but, you know. I want to kill this guy potentially, but that's the problem yeah obviously we need ender pearls you know we have one i think in here yeah one single ender pearl uh i want to get more if i can but i think this is going to be a bit of a shorter video thank you guys again for watching i'll see you guys next week and we will actually get started on building a house i think i don't know if i'm going to practice anything it'll be a, something simple uh and then we're going to you know just do our thing really i'm very interested though i gotta flatten out this area uh probably do that next video but I'll catch you guys later, so have a great rest of your day or night, whatever it may be, and yeah, see you guys later.